everyone, this is Emma. Today I'm going to show you how you can make this five-pointed washcloth. And I just wanted to mention that you will now be able to get your free patterns in my Ravelry store. I'm no longer going to post to my blog. It was getting a bit pricey to pay a blog manager, especially since I donate my YouTube revenue. And I'll post a link below the videos where you can go directly and get your free patterns. Okay, so let's get started. And I'm using cotton worsted yarn and a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. Start with a slip knot, just make a loop, pick up the yarn, and pull it through. And I'm going to start with chain 5. To chain, you simply pick up the yarn with the hook and you pull it through the stitch. So I need 5, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Slip stitch to join, and that forms a ring. Chain 2, 1, 2. Make 14 double crochet in the ring. To make a double crochet, yarn around the hook, pass the hook through to the ring, pick up the yarn and pull it through, pick up the yarn, pull it through two, pick up the yarn, pull it through two. And I'm going to make 14 of those, that's one, so I'm going to make another 13 double crochet in the ring. Okay, I've made my 14 double crochet in the ring. At the end of the row, slip stitch to join in the top of the chain two. Chain two, one, two. In the same stitch, make one double crochet. Chain one, make two more double crochet in the same stitch. One, two. Make one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. One, Two. Make a corner stitch in the next stitch. So corner stitch is two double crochet. One, two. Chain one, two double crochet. One, and two. So that's your first corner stitch, and this is the second corner stitch. Double crochet in the next two stitches. So double crochet double crochet and a corner stitch. Two double crochet. One, two, chain one, two double crochet. Okay, so repeat all the way around. Double crochet, double crochet, corner stitch, double crochet, double crochet, corner stitch, double crochet, double crochet, slip stitch to join. Okay, I worked all the way around. At the end of this row, slip stitch to join in the top of the first chain two. And now every row will be the same. It will be chain two. Turn the work. Double crochet in each stitch up to the corner stitch. Double crochet, double crochet, double crochet, double crochet, double crochet. And there's the chain one space, so in that chain one space, I'm going to make a corner stitch. Two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet, one, two. Now you're going to repeat that all the way around. So double crochet in each stitch up to the corner stitch. In the corner stitch, make a corner stitch of two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet. Work all the way around at the end of the row, slip stitch to join in the second stitch of the chain two. Okay, I've worked all the way around that row. And you'll just continue to make more and more rows until your cloth is the size you would like it to be. If you'd like to put the extra edging around, after fastening off, you'll pull the new color in through that stitch. Chain three, one, two, three. Single crochet in the next stitch. Chain three. One, two, three, single crochet in the next stitch. And you just continue that all the way around. And here's how that looks. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Hectanuka 1. Bye for now.